Corina Trica uh, is with CHEMS Technology in Romania, and uh, she's going to give a presentation. Thank you. Let's uh, discuss PMS. Uh, the data I'm going to use is uh, from international sources, um, mainly studies over um, more buildings and a lot of data from retrofit projects so we can compare former consumes with uh, actual uh, consumes after a BMS system was integrated. The drawing is made by uh, Indian Green Building Council, but I think they didn't uh, consider all the possible applications. Um, still, I will focus on a few of them. You have their environmental control. Well, uh, I was thinking how to explain environmental control. Uh, here in this very room, you had very poor environmental control. Yes? A few minutes before, you're about to die sweating. After you're feeling cold, uh, you couldn't breathe from uh, CO2 concentration, isn't it? Well, poor BMA system, so we fix one item in our presentation. Uh, another point is energy information management. Uh, behind the, your monthly invoice of electricity, you have uh, peak hours, um, empty hours consume, and the, consume is, the price of electricity is very different between two hours. Maybe it's useful to know how much you consume during peak hours. Could you reduce the consume uh, during these hours? Um, and if you have a portfolio, you can compare energy strategies for different buildings. And last but not least, and Mr. Tritza afterwards, he will uh, enlarge the subject. We have enterprise systems integration. So all this technical data is transferred into money and managerial uh, information reports. You can make uh, strategic decisions, operational decisions, I don't know. But anyway, each kilowatt is turned into money, which is less engineering and everybody can understand it. Well, here I, I will not stop too much. Is uh, how is it made of? It's, it's not magic, you know. Um, each BMS architecture is quite the same, no matter which supplier. Here we have uh, an example from Elesta. Is uh, provider of BMS solutions mainly for HVAC applications. So we have a field peripherals. I, I would like you to think of, uh, if you are not engineers and you don't know the business, the, the, this field, I, I would like to think of your own body. So you have field peripherals, which are sensors, yeah, our skin. Um, you have uh, input-output modules. So the information is going to uh, a tiny brain, which is on the second uh, level, the automations level, and after the automation level is sending back to another peripheral um, item, which could be an electro valve or electro servo motor or, I don't know, something else, just like human body. And up there we have a brain. On one screen you can see um, whatever is happening with the installations before. Uh, more than this, you can transfer the data via internet. You can see, uh, compare data for a whole portfolio, and uh, you can access data not only on site, but uh, I don't know, from another country even. Uh, YBMS is a must have for a green building. Well, uh, first of all, because it's one good way to save energy. And I want to uh, underline the fact that BMS alone cannot do the maximum saving. As you have seen, there are a lot of applications of BMS. Uh, most fashionable, let's say, in Romania is HVAC automation. Although uh, American researchers are saying that uh, most energy is used on lighting. And it's not used on lighting itself, itself only, but it's used also on uh, HVAC consume increase, increase in consumer of energy of HVAC system. Uh, why? Because uh, each, it is considered that at least in summer and all over the year in large buildings, each kilowatt you consume for uh, lighting will induce 
another 0 0.4 kilowatt for cooling. We come back to our room here and it's quite a good example, I think. So saving money anyway for lighting, it's saving money for cooling. Um, here are some ways to reduce um, energy consume uh, uh, with lighting. Uh, you can use, it depends on the building, on the usage of the building, it depends on the size of the building, on how it has been built. We come back to the importance of the work of architects who can increase, for, in for instance, daylight harvesting or no. Um, also, I, I would insist about my colleague before was speaking about uh, um, letting people, I don't know, use the light how much they want. Actually, it has been discovered that tuning, uh, which means leave if every employee to use uh, how much light intensity as necessary, um, it's generating lower consumes. Why? Because um, they do not need 400 lux how much we calculate the installation for office. They need lower, for instance, if they work on consume. Not because they have, for instance, green convictions. And here are some figures. Uh, from, uh, it's a study case uh, retrofit. Uh, um, the initial situation has been replaced with T8 lamps and uh, specular reflectors and lenses, um, leading to 50% delamping, so they were taking out 50% of the existing lamps. And they have introduced occupancy sensing and daylight dimming, which means the uh, intensity of the artificial light is going down uh, as the natural light is going up. So you maintain the same comfort, just um, from different sources. And uh, I think it's very important to take a look at the 3.3% payback, which is over uh, the overall uh, payback of a building. We come back to the cooperation between BMS supplier and architect and civil engineer. So a good isolation with a good design and a good position of the building can offer to the, your BMS supplier the opportunity to give you the best solution. And another um, idea is um, to take care to, to decrease your uh, budget not over um, over applications. I mean, I will not do lighting control now, I'll do it later, but uh, on synergies between electrical installation and uh, automation installations. Um, another question, frequently asked questions about BMS, can I use it uh, for small or uh, large building? Uh, yes, you can use it. There are applications also for individual residential units. Uh, you can use it, for instance, if you have um, uh, HVAC um, automations, for instance, only, and um, you want to expand it to the whole building, to the whole, to all the systems in the building. Well, there are a lot of solutions in the market. I might be tempted to suggest few of them, which we are integrating ourselves. But uh, uh, answer to the four questions, I think they are very important. For instance, can you transfer data to FM application? Can you transfer data to an ERP application? Uh, to fix, to get those managerial reports we were talking about and to have uh, actually the whole intelligent building as, as the concept is known. Again, some financials. I want to underline the fact that these financials are uh, based only on energy saving uh, figures. Um, actually, there are other advantages like increased efficiency, labor efficiency. You're feeling a little bit sleepy before, yes, when there was high CO2 concentration in the room. Now, everybody's getting better a little bit, I hope, after my speech. Um, and also you have uh, maintenance costs, yes, because let's go back to our system, you have everything concentrated in one monitor. So 
basically one person can give orders and control all installations in the building, know if they are working, when they need the preventive maintenance, how much maintenance was costing and so on. Well, and now if you want to criticize the speaker, uh, here is some data about TEMS technology. Uh, we are doing uh, BMS using uh, TAC, ELESTA, BELIMO, Industry Technique, mainly BELIMO and Industry Technique are providers of field components, if you remember my drawing before. Um, panel power and automation panels, uh, we provide different automations for also for agriculture and industry. And uh, I would like to say that uh, real, uh, Romanian Green Building Council is not a PRistic. Is he here? Is he here, Mr. Journalist? It's, it's not about PR just. It's about teamwork. And I will give you one example. It's not a, uh, an accident that me and Mr. Trica we are presenting this together. Um, Actually, we've succeeded to transfer the data from uh, the BMS system integrated by TEMS into Archibar system integrated by Mr. Trita. So we can offer to our clients, uh, let's say, a full product. Or if one client is having one of the products, he can get the other one and expand his system. Uh, I don't know if it's in terms of market... Uh, uh, share or of market uh, strategies, uh, very competitive product, but it's a the very beginning of cooperation between companies in uh, uh, green business, and uh, uh, I think we are going to bring more more uh, new developments in this area. Thank you. <laughs>